any you know, move afoot to get to some business manufacturing into uh, the Pocono region and up into the Scram Bridgeport area? Yeah, we're working all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm working with several manufacturers now that are looking at our area. Our problem is actually northeastern Pennsylvania, that is, the looks for Scranton, their, their unemployment is lower than the national average by almost one point. Uh, here in the Poconos, I think it's about the national average right. level. Uh, so we haven't had the terrible shock of some of the other areas of the country. We're much more stable. But short term, I think with, with the, the freeing up of credit and working on the processes that are already in the food chain, if you will, I, I think we'll find an uptick in employment in the area. But long term, uh, exploring and ex exploiting the natural gas field in northern Pennsylvania means a great deal. I mean, just last year, most people don't realize, 56,000 jobs were created in Pennsylvania in the gas field. Over the next several years, there will be hundreds of thousands. Okay, now they're talking about taxing that, though, with some you know, manufacturers are upset and about. What, uh, uh, the manufacturers are they're upset, upset about them being taxed you know, for their uh, natural gas that, discoveries and their natural gas. Well, I, 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 gas. we're only one of two states in the whole union that don't have an uh, right, extraction right. tax. Right. And uh, naturally, people won't like to pay taxes, but it's absolutely essential that we have such a great natural resource that we develop it smartly, but also a good portion of that money should be used to create the jobs and the liquidity that's necessary for the economic system. We can do that. And people shouldn't be you know, trying to deny the duty to pay taxes. You should thank your lucky star. And the plane coming up, I was talking to a couple of people at present. Some people will be getting as much as 20, 10 to twenty thousand dollars an acre for royalties. Now that's money that they never had before. It will be good for thirty years. Uh, if they have a hundred acre farm, you're talking a million dollars a year in royalties. It certainly won't hurt them to be participating. But the tax will be on the extraction from the company. It will be at that level, so they won't only be taxing the, the owner of the land. Of the the tax and extraction from it. Sir, what do these new jobs numbers do to, your, do to the chances of getting something through Congress on a jobs bill or a second stimulus? Well, you know, I, I, our, our opposition there is the just say no people, which is basically the Republican Party. They, they sort of wanted all ways uh, that they can have it, and they particularly, I think, would like us to lose in Afghanistan, uh, have an unemployment rate of 15 or 20 percent and see the country go down the drain. Now that would be to their political advantage. That's foolish. Real important thoughts and, and serious Americans shouldn't think politically on this issue. This is a crisis that affects all Americans. And the faster we can come out of a recession, the better control we can have of any wars or war situations. It could well be that your opposition on a jobs bill is the White House itself, which is worried about the deficit. Well, and, and they rightly have to. But quite frankly, when you look at if we can get the unemployment rate down to 5% of it, we probably will pick up enough general revenue from that to more than offset any of the expenditures that we've made in the last year on getting a recovery system. Now, we have a very hardcore problem that was put in place by really the last administration when they doubled the debt. That we have to go back and face, and we have to look at a variety of methods to handle that problem. So you're saying 5.5% unemployment in the next year would have to offset? Well, we're not going to get there in the next year. What are we talking about? We're not going to get there. I'm, I'm hoping just the fact that we had a two tenths of one percent fall this month. That's great. We've stopped bleeding this month. If we can keep it at that and start getting job increases, that's well on our way to recover. So is but it's going to still necessary? Well, I, I, I don't think just for the purposes of handing out money by any stretch of the what we're trying to do is do a jobs bill that would provide infrastructure up front rather than waiting to do it as we normally would. We're going to have to build a lot of these highways, railways. I'm working on, for instance, the New York to Scranton rail line. We want to build that rail line. Why shouldn't we build it sooner than later when we can use the advantage of the employment that we have? And I'm rather optimistic that in the not too distant future, we're going to get that funding to do that. And when we do, that's going to create 4,000 jobs. So that's going to be a nice uptick for Monroe County, speaking of Monroe.